All right, so what we're going to talk about um, today, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a translation vector. All right. Now, previously, what we did is we took a pair of points, and we had, you know, I gave you guys a point, right? And this was a point that made up a polygon, a, uh, or made up a, you know, certain types of polygons, a triangle, a quadrilateral, a trapezoid. But what we did is then we applied, um, we applied reflections depending on what we needed, the x-axis, the y-axis, the origin, right? And the way that we applied those was we simply just took a look at what we needed to reflect on. And remember, when we're talking about reflections, the only thing that changed, the values were exactly the same, but the signs would change, right? Depending on what we were reflecting on. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is we're going to apply what we call a transformation vector. And what the transformation vector is going to do is give us a direction Give us a direction and a length of where we're going to shift our figure. All right? So the figure is going to be solid on a place, but now it's going to be shifted in certain directions. And the way that a transformation vector did I have, the um, way that transformation is going to take place is going to look like this. Okay? Rather than having nice little parentheses, um, like a nice little rounded parentheses, it's going to have a little bit more jagged pointed parentheses that we're going to look at. All right. So what is this transformation vector then going to do? All right. Well, what the transformation vector is going to do to our points is if I call this A, then A prime is now going to look like x plus A comma y plus B. So what we're going to now do is take our transformation vector and transform our point by adding the values of the vector to each coordinate. Notice how the a adds to the x-coordinate, and the b adds over to the y-coordinate. Make sense? A little bit? We'll go through an example to go and see. But that's essentially what you guys need to know for a transformation vector. So you're going to want to write that one down. <coughs> 